Hi guys, let's do some practice problems on limits and continuity. We'll start with a first problem. We are given the graph of a function. Let's check different points on the x-axis for continuity and discontinuity. Let's start with the first point, minus 1. At the point minus 1, we can see that function value is given to be 1. And as we approach minus 1 from the right, we see that a function is approaching 1. So here, limit of function as x tends to minus 1 from the right is 1 and it's also equal to the value of the function. Hence the function is continuous at x is equal to minus 1. On this side we can see function is not given to us so we take only one sided limit. Let's check another point for continuity x is equal to 2. Again here function is not given on this side so we can approach 2 on the x-axis only from the left. So at x is equal to 2 we take limit from the left. So limit x tending to 2 minus of the function we can see that when we approach 2 a function is this and the value of the function is also 0 and the limit also of function as we tend towards 2 is 0. So the function is continuous at x is equal to 2. Let's come to points of discontinuity. If we check the point x is equal to 0, we'll see that the function when we approach from the left our function is coming towards 0. So this is the limit from the left which is 0 and when we approach 0 from the right then also our function is approaching towards 0. So in this case limit from the left and limit from the right. Both are same. We can see limit from the left is 0, limit from the right is 0, but the value of the function at 0 is 1, which is not equal to the limit. Hence, this is a point of discontinuity. Let's check the point 1. When we are here, at 1, we see that we can approach 1 from both the sides. So when we approach 1 from the left, we can see that a function is approaching this point. That is function approaches 1. So we have limit of the function as we approach 1 from the left is 1. But when we approach 1, from the right. If we are approaching from the right, we see that this is the function given to us. So the function is approaching 0 and the value of function is also 0. So here we see function at 1 is 0. So x is equal to 1 is a point of discontinuity. Let's move on to another question. In this, we can see, again, there's no function given on the left. So, if we check whether minus 1 is a point of continuity or discontinuity, the only option we have is to approach minus 1 from the left. Uh, sorry, from the right. Now, when we approach towards minus 1 from the right, a function is going towards 
1. So, if you see that limit from the right is 1 and the value of the function is also equal to 1. Hence, the function is continuous. Let's check our point x is equal to 2. Now, or we'll take x is equal to 1. So now at x is equal to 1, we can, x can approach 1 from the left and we see that when we are approaching 1 from the left, our graph of the function is moving like this and it gives us the limit as 2. So from the left, the limit is 2 and limit is 2 but when we approach from the right when x moves towards 1 from the right in that case function 2 moves towards 1. So limits from the left and limit from the right they both are not equal. Limit from the left is 2, limit from the right is 1. So the limit itself does not exist. As we are aware, limit of a function exists only if both of them are equal. And moreover, value of the function is given to be 1. So this is a point of discontinuity. Let's look at the point x is equal to 2. Now at x is equal to 2, when we approach x approaches 2 from the left that is it's taking all these values the function is moving towards 1 so function is limit from the left is 1 and when we approach 2 from the right in that case also our function is approaching 1 so limit from the left and limit from the right they both are equal to 1 but function value at x is equal to 2 is given to be 2. As they are not equal, we say x is equal to 2 is a point of discontinuity. Let's check the point 3. Now function is not defined here, so we have only one option to check what happens when we approach 3 from the left. So when we approach from the left, we see function is approaching towards 1 and the value of the function at 3 is also 1. So at x is equal to 3, fx is continuous as limit is equal to the value of the function. In this graph, we see that, that, that no point of continuity is there. We can check only point x is equal to 2 and when we approach x is equal to 2 from the left we see that the graph of function is moving towards 1. So limit from the left is 1 but when we approach 2 from the right that is when x moves towards x is equal to 2 we see that the graph is moving towards 2. Function is taking the value 2. So limit from the left is 1 and limit from the right is 2. And function is also not defined at this point. At x is equal to 2, function is not defined. So it's a point of discontinuity. In this example, we see that x is equal to 2 is a point of discontinuity because when we when x takes the values different values and moves towards 2 from the left then we can see function is taking the value 1 and when we move Towards 2 on the x-axis from the right, function is again taking the value 1. 
So limit from the left and limit from the right is 1. But value of the function at that point is given to be 2. Hence, continuity does not exist at x is equal to 2. In this example, let's first check the point x is equal to minus 1. Now, when x approaches minus 1, x approaches minus 1. We see that the function is approaching half. And the value of the function at minus 1 is also half. So, we have x is equal to minus 1 as a point of continuity. Let's come to 3. When we move towards 3 from the left, we see that our graph is, function is moving towards 1. So, as we can only take limit from one side, because here the function is not defined, we see that the limit as x approaches 3 is 1. So, this is the limit. But value of the function is given to be this, that is 1.5. So, limit is 1 and function value is 1.5. Hence, x is equal to 3 is a point of discontinuity. Points of continuity in this graph are 2. Let's take again x is equal to minus 1. Now, when we approach, x approaches towards minus 1, the function is approaching towards 0. So, we see that the one-sided limit, limit from the right of fx is 0 and it's also equal to the value of the function at minus 1. So, the function is continuous at x is equal to minus 1. At x is equal to 3. At x is equal to 3, again we can only approach from the left as function is not defined here. And we see that a function is, as x approaches 3, function moves in this direction. So, function value, function approaches 2. So, the value of the function is also 2 and the limit is also 2 as x approaches 3. So, x is equal to 3 is a point of continuity. Let's see what happens at x is equal to 1. At x is equal to 1, when x approaches 1 from the left, in that case, from this side we can see function is moving towards 1.5. So, limit from the left is 1.5. And when we approach 1 from the right, function is approaching 0. Also, the value of function at 1 is 0. So, the limits are not equal. Limit from the left and limit from the right, they both are different. And that's the reason x is equal to 1 is a point of discontinuity. Thank you.